First, though, eight years ago, 24-year-old Kyle Vaughan left his family home in Newbridge, South Wales, and never returned. A missing person inquiry was launched, which tragically became a murder investigation. To make matters worse for his family, Kyle's body has never been found. Kyle was a music-loving lad. The best part was with Kyle is he wore his hat on his sleeve. He had a lot of close friends and he was working as a technical engineer and they were training him up to send him all around the world, which made me feel really proud of him. He worked hard and play hard. Kyle and his mother Mary were especially close. He, he loved his mother. In 2012, Mary was going through cancer treatment and you know, I mean, he looked after Mary you know, I mean, all the time. When Mary was having bad days, he knew what to do. If Mary was ill, he'd call the doctor out. He couldn't do enough for his mother while she recovered. December 30th, 2012. Kyle had been enjoying the festive season and was out in Risca, South Wales, with friends. He left his friend's house just before 11.30. got into his car and drove onto the northbound carriageway of the A467 towards Cross Keys. Police believe he then lost control of his car and crashed off the side of the road. A passing motorist saw the accident and called the police. On the 30th of December 2012, um, we had a report um, from a member of the public that a vehicle had crashed on the A467 in Risca, roughly about quarter to 12 that night. So police attended and they were unable to locate the, um, the driver of the vehicle, which we now know was Kyle Vaughan. We know Kyle was walking away from the accident alive. That was actually the last sighting of Kyle. After that, he vanished. Ten past three in the morning, it felt like uh, an earthquake. Someone was banging the hell out the front door. So I go to the front bedroom window, looks out, there's a police car with blue lights on. So I goes down, I'm still, there's two police officers there. And they told us that Kyle's car was thrown abandoned. At the time, Kyle was thought to be a missing person and a major search operation began. As the days were passing, there were real concerns um, rising about finding him you know, safe and well. I think we'd done over 40 searches in the area, extending out around the mountainside, um, over the quarries. The searches were really extensive. Despite their best efforts, Kyle could not be found. But then everything changed. We had some intelligence that suggested that there was perhaps a person involved in the disappearance of Kyle. And it was then that we deemed this as a murder investigation. Oh, my God. And I think I don't believe what I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. It's like a small part of you inside just went poof. After the police went, we sat on the settee. It's like someone died in, inside the pair of us. Desperate to find out what happened to their son, Alan and Mary appealed directly to the public. 
and know he's dead. And somebody's done something to him. They know what's happened to him. And they just like to come forward and see. The heartache of losing her beloved son, Kyle, took a heavy toll on Mary. Mary had cancer for the second time. The doctors believe that the stress of Kyle's murder brought full cancer back again. Mary passed away in 2018. She died on January the 1st, not knowing where her son's body was. I promised her. I would never give up trying to find Kyle's body, and find Kyle's body I will. You don't live, you just survive. You wake up every day and you pray that you get Kyle's body, or you get news of where Kyle's body is. To find Kyle would be better than winning the lottery. At least I could put Mary to rest, Kyle to rest, and that would make me the most happiest person in the world. Really is such a sad case. Well, I'm joined now by Detective Chief Superintendent Nicola Brain from Gwent Police, who you saw in the film there. Uh, good morning, Nicola. Can you just remind us of the details of this case? Yeah, on the 30th of December 2012, Kyle went missing. Um, despite us running a major investigation, hundreds of lines of inquiry, statements and witnesses um, we've spoken to, and searches, we still need that vital link or piece of information to help us solve this case. One of the things you do know, though, are about his last known movements. Um, you can talk us through those now. Yeah. We know that Kyle left friends in the Abercarn, Kumkarn area that evening, travelled through the main street in Risca, Commercial Street, before going to see friends briefly and then going on to the A467. And it's on that A467 that he has the accident in his vehicle. Um, a member of the public saw him leaving that vehicle and that's unfortunately, sadly for us, is where the trailer's gone cold. OK, but you did recover that car from the crash, so you can talk us um, about the, the vehicle now. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle was driving a, a silver Vauxhall, um, sorry, Peugeot 306 and we know that on that evening a member of the public saw him leaving that vehicle. OK. Um, what else do you need the viewers to do today? We're looking for that vital piece of information, however small the public may think that information is. If you've seen um, that, witnessed that accident and haven't yet come forward or have a little bit of information you think that may not be of interest, it will. It's that vital link that we need to help us solve this case. And we've mentioned there it's eight years that, that have gone past now, but you are absolutely not giving up on this. You want to make that pretty clear. Absolutely. Uh, as I said, this is a huge investigation for us. Um, we've followed up huge lots of lines of inquiry, but we are very committed to finding um, Kyle's killer or killers and getting that justice for Kyle's family. Yeah, they desperately need that, Nicola. Thank you very much for joining us. It would clearly mean everything to Kyle's father to find out just what happened to his son. And it's worth saying Gwent Police have set up a dedicated online reporting tool for anyone who wants to contact them directly about this case. The link to that can be found right now on our website. Of course, you can also call our team here. The number to call is 08000 468 999.